All right, what's going on you guys? So we're starting the day off really quick. Just picked up some coffee. Um, and it's gonna be a good day for two different reasons. One, we got a brand new lens at home. I just got the notification saying that it got delivered. And two, we are going thrifting today, hopefully on the mission to find some film cameras. So let's get home uh, and let's get that new lens up and going. I wanna show you guys because I think it's gonna make the videos a lot more enjoyable. Hmm. If you guys ever wonder what I get at Starbucks, iced Americano, five pumps of vanilla. But here we go, you guys. We have the box in. I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of opened it up already. And there it is, you guys. Woo! Tamron 17 to 28 f28 constant wide angle lens. All right. Okay, so I wanted this lens for a couple of different reasons. First and foremost, I feel like 24 millimeters, even when I'm doing stuff like this, isn't wide enough. And so having 17 millimeters as my widest focal length, um, I just feel like it's kind of kind of open everything up and show more of the environment, especially when I'm out in the city shooting. I always kind of wanted something a little bit wider. So yeah, we picked up this lens. Uh, they kindly sent it over and um, we're gonna test this lens out today and see what it does. I wanna slap it on just to show you guys really quick the difference between 17 millimeter and the 24 millimeter lens that we have been filming on as of lately. All right, let's open it up. Brand new lens, y'all. All right, here we go, guys. Woo! Look at that thing. Super clean. I also like how the lens is kind of like matte. Um, the the 2470 Carl Zeiss lens I have right now has like the shiny finish. I like the matte looking finish, but 17 to 28, it has internal zoom. So even if you do zoom in and out between uh, the different focal lengths, it's not gonna extend like the barrel on the current lens that we're shooting. Um, and it comes really cool with a stock uh, kind of like, you call these again? Like a flower petal lens hood. So I'm gonna throw this on the camera really quick and uh, Let's just see the difference. I'm curious to see what 17 millimeter looks like. All right, so let's throw this on the camera, you guys, and show you just how big of a difference it is between 24 millimeter and the widest at 17 with the lens. So let's throw this on really quick. All right, so this is 17 millimeters on the new lens. I hope you guys kind of like it. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think really quick in the comment section down below. I think this is gonna be a lot more useful for these thrifting videos. Another cool thing too about the lens is that it has a very, very close minimum focus distance. And so even if I go all the way up here, you guys will see that it still can catch focus. Something that this lens didn't really do well with um, even at the wider angle like the 24 mil. So I'm excited to see how it looks. I haven't seen the footage yet, but let's get going you guys. Let's hit the thrift stores because today we're gonna be looking for some film cameras. Hopefully we'll find something for an upcoming challenge. All right, you guys, so we are at the first spot. You guys know this is the go-to spot every time we start out our day thrifting. I've been here in a minute. It's been a long time since I've actually been to this thrift store just because I've been trying to experiment with different areas, but so let's go in and let's see what we can find. Guys, we always start off here in these soft plastics. Look at that. We already got some cameras starting to pop up. What do we have here? Vivitar, focus free, little plastic fantastic. But I'm gonna search all of this, and then if we do find some cameras, I will be kind of showing you guys what we find. But let me go dig in really quick and see if we could find anything. Whew. All right, guys, here we go. First find of the day. We got a Rico AF7. This has a 38 millimeter 2.8 lens. Very similar to what you would see something like on the uh, Canon AF35Ms, but $19.96. Not a bad play, just considering, you know, the camera's condition, but let's hold on to that. A little steep, if I'm honest with you. I expect it to be a lot cheaper than that. But 
that still is a find and it's still something that we are going to hold on to till the very end here. Realistically, you guys, right now I'm kind of just looking for point and shoot cameras that nobody really talks about. I want to do kind of like a camera challenge with them, but let's see what we can find. Second find right here, Vivitar Series 1. This one is a 440PZ. I'm not familiar with this one, but we're gonna pass on it just for now. It's 15 bucks. Check that out, guys. Vivitar Series 1, 38 to 70 autofocus. You guys, I just got trolled hard, man. I was looking through and I saw the front of what looks like an Olympus. Check this out. I thought this was an Olympus Stylus Epic, but it's just one of those older digital Olympuses. All right, anyways, moving on. I always get trolled by those. Yes, look at that. Curious, it's not, that's not even Curious George, but look at that little point and shoot. Whew, got the flip up cover. $6.98, worth every single penny. Here's another little point of shoot. This one is a Fuji Discovery 75R. Um, this one's actually not a bad camera. Let me take it out here. This is one of those cheaper cameras that if you just want to shoot film and get that look, this will get it down for you and it'll get it down pretty well. Uh, I think it takes double A's. I'm not 100% sure, but um, if you guys are ever looking for like a cheaper, you know, lower end point and shoot, these little cameras from Fuji were not that bad. They're not great, but they're not, they're not bad at all. All right, right y'all, check this out. We got a Minolta Freedom 2 with a nice little leather bag, man. This one is from, I don't know, Albinger? I don't know, but it's 15 bucks, but you got 50% off for today's coupon. This is definitely a cop right here, guys. I'm gonna scoop this one up and we're just gonna keep on looking. And so far, they are packed with cameras today, which I'm very, very happy about. So. Uh, hopefully we can find some more as we continue on but so far man two on the day not a bad play y'all there is no way we just found this rokinon 35 millimeter 2.8 fe check this out rokinon 35 2.8 fe this is a sony lens made by rokinon like a cheap plastic fantastic for five bucks are you kidding me? All right, if this actually works, we're gonna try it on. It supposedly has autofocus. We're gonna try that on the camera. Come on, I gotta scoop it up. Five bucks, you're, you're messing with me right now. So far, you guys, it's a crazy day for thrifting. I can't believe we found this thing. All right, guys, so so far, we got like an armful of stuff. Uh, this is just kind of like the soft plastics. We haven't even checked the boutique yet, so uh, we're gonna head over there, see if we can find anything, and then I think we're gonna head out because it's getting really crowded in here and it's getting harder and harder to kind of navigate. So three finds so far. Let's check the boutique. See if we can get lucky over there. Thank you. Can I see the um gang first stop of the day i call that a success right here i got a lot of goodies to show you guys and also one that i'm very curious about uh, but the day is not over we're still going to hit up two other spots before we head back home and do a little recap of everything that we found today so sit back relax and let's go back to sacramento
All right, gang, we made it into the thrift store. This is an iconic spot for me. This is where I found Stylus Epics and a bunch of other cameras. And hopefully right now, we just walked up to this little area, see if we can find anything good in here. Okay, so we got a bunch of little camera bags down here. Nice little low pro thing. Actually, this is not that bad. This kind of looks like what I have on me right now. But the one I have on is like a Herschel one. But uh, yeah, this one looks pretty dope right here. It just needs a little cleaning, but not what I'm looking for. One thing that I do want to note about this spot is that they always move stuff around. And so trying to find it in one place is not going to work. So far, you guys, we are not seeing anything camera related, but we have still yet to check the boutique section. So let's go and check that out. But look at the snare drum though. Where's the snare at? Does it even, oh, there's no bottom to it. All right, look at this y'all. Realistic looking security camera. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We got the Pentax MX with kind of lens is that I don't know what lens that is but looks to be pretty nice right there <laughs> we got an old little Mitsubishi kind of plastic fantastic let's see what else they got over here the Pentax right now is going for 200 with 50 percent off so 100 bucks for this little system if I was getting into film photography that looks like a pretty good deal I'm not gonna lie like if I didn't have a camera already Pentax MX is a fantastic camera and it looks like it has like a 135mm 2.8 lens as of right now probably not something I'm interested in just because it is one 100 bucks and two uh, it's a camera that I don't shoot too often all right gang so it looks like this place is a bust in terms of cameras uh, we do have one more spot after this and hopefully there we will find more cameras but for now we're going to kind of transition over into more of a vintage search all right guys, so we are at the last thrift store of the day. We just pulled up here to the little camera section and so far I'm already seeing some heat. So we got this little interesting Pentax case right here. But look at that. I'm interested in what that is right there because it has, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the little Canon 1980s Olympics lens cap. So we're gonna take a look at that, see what that is and uh, see if there's anything inside of the case worthwhile. Which one did you want to see today? Can I see this Pentax one right here? And that, yeah. Thank you. Can I actually see this one right here? I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab these two. Okay. Uh, can I still go around the shop? Yeah, yeah. I'll just take them to the front right? okay. And then whenever you're ready, I'll meet you there. All right, thank you so much. Uh -huh. All right, guys, I still cannot believe what we just found. We found two cameras in this shop and they're pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'll get talking more about that later on. But I kind of just want to check around, see what else they have, because a lot of what, you know, these thrift stores nowadays do is they'll have it kind of scattered out and you can't always rely on the same spots just to look. And so you'll often see these carts full of random stuff. And a lot of times they'll have treasures. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we made it back home now. And first of all, I gotta say really quick, I'm having this terrible allergy attack, so bear with me, I might sound a little stuffy. Uh, but I wanna go through some of the items that we picked up today, try to test them out, and just unpack them here in front of the camera. Now, I will say, you guys, today was a pretty solid day of thrifting. You know, there was only one or two things that were standout pieces, but for the most part, this is a lot better than some of the other times that I try to go out and thrift including one lens that I am extremely excited by. 
excited by dang i can't talk anymore so here's a little sneak peek of everything that we got from today's thrift vlog um and i kind of want to just go through them one by one so first and foremost we have this one right here this is a canon af 35m or actually i think this is one is rebranded as the canon sure shot now i made a video about this on my channel a long time ago uh, and these cameras are great little cameras, 38mm 2.8 lens. I mean, one of the best parts is they do take AA batteries right here, uh, which ooh, looks like it has some already inside. And I picked this little baby up right here for 10 bucks, as you guys can see on the case that it came with, right over here. There you go. Way to focus, third lens. Now, I'm not sure if the battery is dead or maybe if just the camera is not working, but. It seems like there's no response to this. All right, so that is the first camera that we have right here, the Canon Sure Shot for 10 bucks. We're gonna leave that here on the side, but the next thing we have here is in this little Pentax case. Um, also for 10 bucks from the same store, we picked up a camera that is super low key. I call this one of the sleepers of the point and shoot cameras. Uh, the Pentax IQ Zoom Easy autofocus camera. They, they come in different models and makes. I generally like the ones that are more boxy, but these ones will do as well. And most of these Pentax zoom cameras are great little reliable cameras. Um, this one still has a roll of film inside of it, and so I'm not sure you know, what's in there, but I do want to test this one out, see if it's working. Let me go get some batteries. Positive side up. It was like a, a random helicopter police chase going on outside. That's cool. Okay. Now let's see if it powers up here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Moment of truth. There she is, folks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And it looks like there's still an entire roll as there's only about three shots taken on this one. So who knows? Maybe we'll take the rest of the photos on here, get it developed, see how that goes. But the date that it has on here is... 1997. Now these point and shoots were found at the very last thrift shop. As you guys remembered, in the middle there was kind of a bust, but the very first stop, which generally doesn't ever happen, was the gold mine when it came to you know finding good stuff. So I'm gonna pull all of that stuff out now and show you guys what we got um, and kind of just show you the highlight of uh, this entire thing because we got a steal on this little lens over here. Okay, so the first one we are going to open here, you guys, is in this little bag. Uh, it says $14.96, but this was 50% off, so we picked it up for about $7, $7.50. What attracted me to this was first the bag. Um, cool kind of little over-the-shoulder sling. Like, check this thing out, man. I would rock this any day of the week, especially if I'm putting pointed shoots in here. It kind of looks like a purse, but I would rock this. This is something dope. You know, you have your film in here. Uh, look, it even comes with the OG manual to the dang camera and a note and it says Loaded film and checked batteries code of color gold ISO 224 exposures. That's pretty cool. So You got an original note. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me put that up there. There you go uh, They also kind of Flattened out the box of film that they were shooting and this point-and-shoot was one of my favorite point and shoots, but at one point, the copy that I had broke on me. The little thing on the bottom here broke, and it looks like this one might have it as well, unfortunately. Okay, kind of a bummer, but it looks like we have some corrosion here in the battery cell thing, but um, I can easily clean that off and try to get that going. I don't know, we'll see if we can get this one to work. All right, anyways, moving on. So the next camera we found, really interesting, kind of reminds me of uh, the Canon Sure Shot here was this one. Okay, so first things first, it came with this cool little kind of, I don't know, little pocket point and shoot. Uh, it definitely has some cool branding on it though. It says Rico here up at the front uh, and it shows the age of the camera. But more importantly, guys, we have this right here with an interesting little strap action. Has a nice little attached lens cap. <laughs> we have this camera right here, you guys, the Rico AF7. And uh, what really kind of got me with this camera was that it looks very similar to like a Nikon L35 AF or even like the Canon Sure Shot as we just explained. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. It has a nice little 38 millimeter 2.8 lens. And uh, if this is a good camera and it works, it'll be a good little candidate for the next point and shoot challenge that we have here on the channel in the next week or so. And I think I just took the biggest thrift L of the year. So check this out. 
This thing is not even closing up on me. It, it broke, so I'm not mad. Because of the last find of the day, you guys, probably saves the entire video, to be honest with you. It's the only thing here that I feel like if it works, hopefully, please work. It's just gonna save the video, so let me just jump into this real quick, you guys. Um, and here's the price point, you guys, $4.98, right? Here's a little sneak peek for you guys so you could see what I am talking about. But inside this bag, you guys, is this beast of a lens right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you came for for this video. This is the title of the video. Um, and the lens that we picked up for five bucks is the ever so popular Rokinon 35 millimeter 2.8 FE lens for Sony full frame cameras. Now you guys are probably saying, who the hell is Rokinon? And I know what you're saying, man, because I thought the same thing too. Uh, but if you guys have ever heard of Samyang or Rokinon, they're pretty much these third party companies that make full frame lenses for Sony cameras. They make lenses for other camera systems as well, I believe. But check this out, you guys. When I was getting into full frame Sony mirrorless cameras, I was looking for a cheaper 35 millimeter option to possibly shoot street photography with. Um, and this was one of the lenses that I strongly considered. Let me take you guys a little bit closer. So to the naked eye, it just looks like any random lens. Uh, one thing that I will say though is that it's extremely light. It borderline feels cheap, but as you guys can see, it says Rokinon autofocus 35mm 2.8 FE. And yes, guys, this is autofocus right here. Uh, and you can take this kind of lens cover off and it exposes. I can do this one-handedly. There you go. It exposes the front lens element right here. So yeah, it actually does have autofocus. I want to throw this on the Sony right now as we speak uh, and just show you guys kind of what the lens can do. And hopefully I'm going to go around the house here, just take a couple of photos just to see what you guys think um, and you know how it performs. Because if it works, man, this was the greatest thrift find so far this year. Believe it or not, this lens right now goes for about two to three hundred dollars so let me pull it up all right here it is <laughs> we found it you guys it is a 250 dollar lens here on amazon and uh we picked this freaking lens up literally for five bucks so let me throw it on the camera real quick i'm probably gonna record with my phone just to show you guys that it does work if it does work um and uh we're gonna make some photos around the house here and guys when i say this does feel borderline cheap it feels like a plastic fantastic all right it is on let's look here and let's see the photo auto focus wait let's go into photo mode there there you go <laughs> check that out guys it's actually auto focusing that is ridiculous that is ridiculous all right guys well there she is the sam or broken on 35 millimeter 2.8 and uh, you know kind of final thoughts on this lens it's extremely lightweight very plasticky uh, but if you guys watch the reviews on it it gets some you know surprisingly good ratings for what it is so who knows maybe we will do a video in the future with this lens maybe doing some portraits maybe doing some street photography but i guess that is the huge fail slash victory of today's thrift episode but on the good side of things we did pick up an extremely affordable autofocus full frame Sony lens. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think of today's finds, if you guys had similar experiences, or if you guys have had any cool thrift finds as of late, definitely comment those down below. Uh, but thank you guys, man, for sticking till the very end, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, we all together. Thank you.